right, today we're going to talk about how to use the molar mass that we calculate um, to convert between grams and moles or moles and grams. Okay, so the first question that we're going to go over is how many moles are in 6.941 grams of lithium? Okay, so to start, we're going to need to know um, how many or how, what the molar mass of lithium is. Okay, so we get that from our periodic table right there for lithium. And then we're going to convert that molar mass into a conversion factor. Okay, so the molar mass means that's how many grams are in one mole. So we could write that as 6.941 grams in one mole, or we could write it as one mole is 6.941 grams, as they're both shown right here. Okay, so um, <clears throat> after we have our two options for our conversion factors, then we need to figure out which one to use. Okay, so our question asks for moles. How many moles? And so we're going to use the conversion factor that has moles in the top, right? We're always going to put in the top the units that we want to get to, all right? And then the last step is, is pretty easy. We're just going to take the number that was given in our problem here, that's 6.941, which is there, right? The conversion factor we identified, and then we're just going to multiply them. Okay, so if um, a number is in the top, remember we multiply, and if a number is in the bottom, we divide. So to put this into calculator, you would do 6.941 times 1 divided by 6.941. Okay, so that would just give us one mole of lithium. And that makes sense because um, if this is the molar mass of lithium, that is going to be the mass of one mole. All right, so now let's move on to a compound and something that's not just the same as the molar mass. Okay, so this question is, what is the mass of 2.6 moles of water? Okay, so our first step is going to be finding the molar mass of water, all right, and that is going to be, uh, we're going to, again, use our periodic table, 2 times the mass of hydrogen, remember that 2 comes from our subscript 2 here, plus um, the mass of one oxygen, because there's no little subscript by the oxygen. So when we multiply that out, we'll get 18.015 grams per mole. Okay, and then um, we're going to convert that value to conversion factors. So it's either going to be 18.015 grams in one mole, or one mole is 18.015 grams. Okay, our problem is asking for mass. All right, so mass will need to be in the top, which is grams, all right? We measure mass in grams. So the 18.015 grams in the top is the conversion factor we'll use for this problem. All right, now the last step is to just um, take the number from your problem. So this is the 2.6 moles, which we have up here, and multiply that by our conversion factor. So it will just be 2.6 moles times 18.015 grams divided by one mole, and that's going to give us 47 grams of water, All right? What is the mass of a 0.92 mole sample of carbon dioxide? Again, same steps that we did before. Um, do find the molar mass using your periodic table. So this is the mass of one carbon plus two oxygens, right, to get 44.009. Make those into conversion factors, All right? We're looking for mass, so we're going to choose the conversion factor that has grams in the top, because grams is mass, and then just multiply. Okay, so we'll take the 0.92 from our problem up here, times the conversion factor we identified to get 40 grams of carbon dioxide. All right, last example, how many moles are in 36.91 grams of methane? find our molar mass, convert that molar mass to conversion factors, right? Here we're looking for moles, so we're going to choose the conversion factor that has moles in the top, and then multiply. 36.91 grams times one mole divided by 16.043 grams is 2.301 moles of methane. Okay, so we're going to do some practice with these, and hopefully um, they'll, they'll become really familiar to you, and you'll master it quickly.